Hello, I'm Ethan Cortez and I'm a Services Specialist for Academic Technology here at SF State. In this video, I'll be introducing you to Poll Everywhere, I'll be walking you through how to log in, creating and activating an activity, as well as showing you the interface. Poll Everywhere is a new tool that will be replacing iClicker and is available to all SF State faculty. It allows for the live polling of students both face-to-face -face and online. Students can participate by accessing your activities through a web browser, text message, or through your Canvas course. And with 23 different types of activities and formats to choose from, you will have no shortage of use cases for this software in your classes. Poll Everywhere is just one little thing you can do to garner classroom participation. To get started, we will log in by using our SFSU email and password. This will take you to your homepage. Think of this as the main hub, which is meant to help you navigate the site. On the sidebar, you will find five icons, Home, Activities, Participants, Reports, and Teams. Here on the Activities tab, you'll be able to access the activities which you have made, make new ones, review previous responses to your activities, or change the substance of the activities altogether. And here's a quick tip. The Upload button on the Activities page lets you bulk upload activities. On the Participants tab, you can sync your Canvas course roster with Poll Everywhere, which will allow you to use Poll Everywhere as an external tool on Canvas. Once an activity has been completed, go to the Reports tab to generate a clear, easy-to-read summary of the responses you have received. When generating, you can select from a range of report formats that best suit your needs. Now let's take a look at the Teams tab. Teams allow presenters to share activities with each other. Activities shared with a team may be viewed, reported, and presented by all team members of the team. Only account administrators may create and edit teams. If you're looking for a specific team, reach out to Academic Technology and we can help you get that set up. Now that you understand the layout of Poll Everywhere, let's jump into making and publishing an activity. To do this, we can either begin on the home page or the activities page. You'll get started by clicking on the blue Activities Plus button located at the top of the screen. Once we press this button, we will be prompted with a set of choices between activity types. For this example, we will stick with multiple choice, but make sure to check all of the different activity styles that Poll Everywhere offers. To see the full list, click here on the More tab located to the right of the Activities Options list. Once we have selected our activity type, and for this example we've selected multiple choice, you'll need to fill in the title of your activity. The title will serve as the prompt for activity participants to answer. For now, let's set the title in question to what will you use Poll Everywhere for. Next, we can begin to add our potential responses. We are given two answer slots to start, but can add more by pressing the Add Option button located below the potential responses. Let's add two so that we have a set of four. To fill in the response options, we type in Attendance, Class Participation, Pop Quiz, and I'm Not Sure Yet. Once you have finished inputting the options for the poll, you can then press the Create button. And finally, we can edit additional settings before activating the activity. The first customization option listed is how people can respond. This is where you can add the option for participants to respond by text message in addition to the URL. As we move down, next is the Audience Restriction and Identity tab, which is where we can make the activity completely anonymous as well as make it open to everyone or just registered participants. The default is for the activity to be open to everyone, but is not set to be anonymous. Moving down the page, we will see Response Settings. Here we can change how many times participants can respond to the activity, how many options they can select, if the participants will see other responses in the form of a chart when they have finished responding, and finally, if you'd like for people to see the activity title on all devices or just those of the participants. The last settings tab for these activities is a timer setting. Here you can set a timer to limit participant response time. Now that we have completed getting the activity ready and all of the substance is there, we can make final changes to visual settings which are located at the top to the left of the activate button. Once you've made sure that your activity is set up the way you like, you can then activate it by pressing the Activate button. Once you press this button, it will then display that the activity is activated, and participants can now access and respond to this particular activity. Congratulations on creating your first activity with Poll Everywhere. Using this software is a fantastic way to keep your audience engaged and active during your lectures or classes. Poll Everywhere is just one little thing offered by SF State that can help increase engagement from your audience. You can find more information about Poll Everywhere and other technologies offered by SF State on Academic Technology's support website, at.sfsu.edu. That's all for this video. If you're interested in learning more tips and tricks, check out more videos on One Little Thing.